Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming, or maybe discuss a topic to I, and one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, Mr. Alex, how are you? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you working on a, a, a bring up there? Um, I, I'm trying to change it because I always, I always say like how you doing and stuff. I'm, I just mm-hmm. want something different. You want something different? I need to spice it up. You, it, this is for the viewers out there. Mm. What should Alex's catchphrase be? <laughs> yeah, I, I need a I be, need a catchphrase. Should it be? Gotta go fast. Mucha no, lucha. Mucha lucha. <laughs> hey, that was a good show. Yeah, mucha lucha. Um, remember the flea. I liked yeah. the flea. The flea. It was a good one. If you watched Mucha Lucha, you'll know what we're talking about. It was like a flea character. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. It was he's stinky, right? Is that was I think so. Thing? I think that was it. He was disgusting. He mm-hmm. was Corna and Virus uh, incarnate, basically. I'm gonna try if I get better with these video things. Mm-hmm. Like since we're talking about Mucha Lucha, mm-hmm. maybe I can try to see if I could just stamp uh, uh, the flea. Mucha Lucha, and he's yeah. dancing around. Here. He's just trying to do that right now. Alex. There's a little Mucha Lucha here. If there isn't one. Tweet at him and say he failed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Alex, what do we do again? Oh, that's right. A gaming podcast. This is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Every Friday, we are live on every podcast service and YouTube. Give us all the likes, all the comments, all of the watch time. Head over, if you like that even more than what you already do, I guess. You head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You give us the dollar. Get in the exclusive. This month's exclusive is going to be Alex and elijah's starter sets basically we're gonna go over four tv shows four movies four video games four musics if we want to for me we're gonna give us what describes us and you get a look at a little background check on us what do we mm-hmm. like you can get us, discern get your to know beliefs. Us a little. yeah yeah you can discern your beliefs do you hate me or do you hate alex do you like one of us more you can judge us by our choice in music or tv shows yep everyone does on the internet i assume so yeah I mean, might as well. Might as well. Yeah. If you don't want to give us any money, why? Just a dollar, man. Come on. <laughs> but if you don't, you, of course, can go and give us all the five stars, all the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions on all of the services. Thank you so much for that. And Alex? Yes. We have a lot of news today. Yes, it is. But before we get into the news, I have one question. Mm. What have you been playing? What else? Mm. Nothing. This has been a lame week for us. Yeah. I will be 100% honest. Yeah. I've not played a new thing since last week. Oh, no, no. Apex. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts. And that's it. And see, I was playing playing Kingdom Hearts last week. Now it's just Apex. I have to go back to Kingdom Hearts, Mm -hmm. but I just been... Haven't had enough time to play... I started to... Play everything, so... I started to... I am at... uh, What's it called? Uh, uh, Fan... No... Disney mm-hmm. Castle place where you go to mm-hmm. black and white area. The Steamboat Willie place? Yes, thank you. Steamboat Willie area. I, I don't remember you. what oh, it's oh, actually I got, called. I got yeah, I got but you. I'm there. Got okay. I'm there. Got I'm, I'm leisurely playing a level here and there. Gotcha. Mostly it's been Apex. Yeah. Because I've just been eating Apex yeah. And the new alive. Event. New yeah. event's really fun. Yeah. System Overdrive, I think is what it's called. Gotcha. Override. System Override. override. Yep. 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 That's really cool. The event comes with a bunch of cosmetics you can buy yep. if, if you want to. Um, I think I got mm-hmm. all of them as a recording right now. All the cosmetics? I think so. Dang. With all the crafting materials I saved up, oh, all wow. the Apex okay. coins I've been saving up, all that stuff. That's I cool. I think I got them all. I might That's be a lot. missing one or two. No life. No life is correct. Um, so how do you feel about the new Evo Shield? It's think- fun. For people who don't know, in Apex, it's a free-to-play shooter. Um, and they introduced Evo Shields, which is Evolution Shields, where you can equip it, and it's a basic low-level shield when you get it, but the more you do damage, the stronger it gets. So, for instance, if I start off with just a level 1 with only 25 extra uh, hit points, um, if I do another 100 damage, I get another 50 hit points, and then so on and so forth until you get to the Red Shield, which has a, gives you another 125, which is stronger than the strongest shield in the game. Which is gold. Yes. Yeah. Well, technically, gold and purple, because gold doesn't give you any more hit points; just gives you the ability. Yeah, yeah. Either I guess. Yeah. Um, it's fun. Yeah. Especially when you get it all the way to red. Oh yeah. You feel pretty cool. Yeah. I do. They did say they wanted to add this to the full game. I was gonna say, if do you it, think they're gonna keep it? Because I'm liking it. I'm I think they will because I feel like they wouldn't have said that without yeah. bringing it in. So mm-hmm. I assume they will add it. Maybe not now, but maybe in the next season. 
Yeah. Uh, because they said if it performs well in the event, they'll add it to the actual game. Mm. So I'm assuming yeah. they will. Um, the uh, actual mode is really fun, though. Deja, Deja loot. loot is yeah. what it's called. The premise of any battle royale, really, is you drop on a uh, island or whatever, and you collect loot. In this mode, the loot is always in the same spot. Yep. So, for instance, if I find a pistol in this box, it will always be there mm. as long as I'm playing in that mode. Yep. And then the only thing that changes daily is where the ship that carries us goes and the the actual storm or ring, I think they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the ring, yeah. That that changes every day. But that's the only thing. Okay. That's really fun, especially when you know where all the good stuff is. Mm-hmm. And I like have four or five spots mm-hmm. on the map where I'm like, if I'm I know where here, go. I go there, yep. get purple, blue shield, and then get a gun yeah, that, that I want. Yeah, that's how it was yesterday. I forgot where. Can't remember if it's uh, is it supplies? I forget what it's called. Supply camp? It's either supply camp or it's the one uh, survey camp. Survey camp, thank you. And like when you you get to drop right in between the two, and there's a bin that has like this immediate purple. I know exactly where that is, so I drop in there, and grab it. There's a place about Fragment West, I think. Mm-hmm. And if you drop in a very specific spot, there's three bins around you. Yeah, one has purples, one has an alternator, and the other one behind you has another alternator with a with a sight mm. and a bunch of light ammo. So yeah. like you're set. Yeah, and, and then you can find a, something else in a nearby building. But I've been having a lot of fun. Got all yep. the things. Um, I want more things. Uh, they have that cool XP system where the more you play the modes, the more points you'll get for the mode to unlock more cosmetic stuff. That's mm-hmm. really fun. Um, I will say the challenges are boring because they're the same thing every same day. Same thing over. Um, this is the third day of the event, and I've done the same challenges that renew daily this will be the third time today so that kind of sucks yeah i'll still do them because i want the free stuff yeah um because they look awesome but that kind of sucks i wish they got a little more creative with that Mm -hmm. um anything else alex that you've been playing Mm -mm. i think by next week i will play that final fantasy 7 demo i want to try that i'll be honest with the audience i wanted to play that to talk about it and then i just couldn't bring myself because i want to play the game and it's literally the first i think hour of the game or oh, something like it? that and i'm like i don't want to i don't want to have to redo all and, this well that and, and i know i'm going to play the game so i like i don't want to play it again yeah. you know what i mean so I'm like i don't know i don't want to spoil the experience too i got you but i feel like i will for the sake of the audience out there how do you get the free theme do you got to play the demo I how do you think get that no 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 it was just downloading it oh you can just download it you have to download it in the first week I should probably at least start it to make sure I that but it did say the tweet I saw said you download it. Okay. It within the first week. So yeah, it should I be good. It. Yeah. Should be good. Okay. But Alex, enough mm. of what we were gonna play. Yeah. Alright. Let's talk about some news. Yeah. We just right before we started this podcast, looked over the game Valorant that was yeah. leaked but then it revealed like a day later. Um, which is very weird, and then another yeah, video, well. but then another video got leaked, mm-hmm. and then they released that video a day later. A lot of nonsense happening with this game, but this is Riot's game. Um, this is their first game after uh, League of Legends. League of Legends. Yeah. So this is Riot's game. Uh, what is this Polygon? Yeah, Polygon has a perfect, like everything you need to know about Valorant. If you guys want to look that up. Just uh, everything we need to know about Riot's new shooter, and it's over on Polygon. Um, and I'm going to read like the main spots. Like, all right. So, what is the main mode in Valorant? <clears throat> main mode: uh, Counter Strike's defuse game mode. So it's basically you defuse a bomb, attacking team goes for the bomb, and then the opposing tries to take it out. What is Valorant setting? Valorant takes place in a world, albeit a near future version of this world. A cataclysmic event occurs sometime in our future, reshaping the world and its governments alongside its geopolitical effects. The event also gives certain hypernatural powers to special individuals. This is how agents first got their abilities and how the in-game organization Valorant came to be. Will there be story? They kind of hint at basically Overwatch. You're going to get these um, shorts, animated shorts that you'll be able to watch. Um, is Valorant free? Yes, it's free. Where can I play Valorant? It's going to be a closed beta. There's no word on when it will be, but it will launch sometime in summer of this year. Yeah. Is it yeah. a competitive game? Of course it is. Um, were you going to add something on? No, I was going to say, yeah, they said something about the beta. It was sometime before the summer because that's the, when the game releases. This is so far PC only. 
Is it really? Uh, as far as I understand, yeah. Okay. I haven't seen any words on console. They said they're focusing on PC. Consoles will be figured out later. Um, this is Riot. They never yeah. released League on anything else other than PC, so I don't see why this would be different. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I don't I don't think so. Um, and uh, I didn't specify. This is 5v5, mm-hmm. and this is a hero shooter. So literally picture Counter-Strike if you've ever seen that. If you're not, just picture like a Call of Duty but cartoony looking. And then every uh, person has like an Overwatch style ability. Yeah. Like yeah. to me, when I looked at it, it looks like Overwatch, but with the guns and like the as- aspect of Counter Strike. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. It, like it, it looks, looks like it Overwatch. looks so much like Overwatch that it's like, Jesus. They yeah. should have maybe changed a little bit more to kind of differentiate yeah. because I feel like, like if the I showed art style someone, is almost, to me, almost a lot exactly like I it. feel like if I showed someone this clip. That mm-hmm. wasn't into gaming, yeah. but knew of gaming. They'd be like, "Is that the same? Is game? that Overwatch, or is that a sequel?" I heard there's a sequel. They yeah. would like take pause because it definitely looks like yeah, it does. It looks like Overwatch, but just with real guns. Mm-hmm. So that kind of sucks because again, doesn't seem super creative. But hey, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't yeah. want to speak on something I haven't touched I'll, yet. I'll take a look at it if I have a computer that can run it. I'll try it, I but I, there's com- definitely I'm not gonna yeah. stay with it. I feel like our audience can c- cut through our bullshit. Um, it's on PC. Probably yeah. not gonna play. That, it. I, well, that's why I said if I have a computer that could run it, maybe. If Alex gets gifted a thousand dollar PC, he says he'll play it. I don't even he need. Says he'll I, play. I don't even need that much. <laughs> <laughs> is this a tactical shooter? Yes, it is. Is there different characters? Yes, there is. Um, can I change my character? No, you can't. Not during a match. Sorry, cannot change a character during a match. Um, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Um, oh, apparently you purchase guns, too, which is really weird. Um, yeah, it's so, like same concept as Counter-Strike. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, so guns have to be bought at the beginning of each round of Valorant unless you survive the previous round, in which mm-hmm. case your loadout will carry over. The game's guns should be familiar to anyone who has played a modern multiplayer game. There's a... Um, I forgot which Call of Duty it is. I forgot what... Oh, God. There was a mode. Um, I, I, I want to... Black Ops say, 4? Huh? Black Ops 4? Maybe. It's like where right before the match starts or whatever, you use your points to buy the gun or whatever, and the attachments for it, and then you start the match. Oh god! I feel I like say that's Black Ops Four. I, I want to say Black Ops Four because right? I, I, just I remember, remember what you're talking that about. That three. It, there was a you have a sum of money and you get more yeah. money by killing people. Yep. And you can add yep. things to your game. Yeah, that's, know, that's how that reminds me of. Yeah, yeah, for for sure. Um, that's a silly question. Will there be balance updates? Of course, there were. Duh. Um, will there be new maps? Of course. Um, <clears> they didn't give time frame for updates. Are there skins? Yes. <laughs> Ho- hopefully, because if not, then I mean, there wasn't. Um, there are no loot boxes. Okay. So that's kind of okay. cool. You yeah. can just direct buy. This is what I pre- uh, prefer. Um, quick question, Alex. Mm. And a question for you uh, uh, at home as well. Um, leave it in the comment or tweet at us. Uh, what would you prefer? Cheaper what? loot box system mm-hmm. or outright buying skins? Cheaper loot box system or just outright buying a skin for a little more? So, for instance,. Let's um, use Apex for instance. Okay. You <clears throat> technically buy an Apex pack yeah. for a dollar. Okay. Technically. You can't really buy a coin for a dollar. You have to pay at least yeah, ten yeah, bucks yeah. to get that. Yeah. Now for the skins you buy in the store, mm-hmm. those are like eighteen hundred coins. That's almost twenty dollars. Yeah. Basically twenty bucks because you need to essentially pay twenty bucks to get to eighteen hundred. You yeah. have two hundred left. Mm-hmm. So would you prefer paying twenty bucks and getting what you want? Or little smaller uh, items for a dollar, or just how Apex has done it, and just kind of do both. Mm. I'm probably gonna go the cheaper way because there's no way I'm gonna spend twenty dollars on a skin. <laughs> You've never done that. I've spent ten. Really? You never spent twenty bucks on a skin? No. <laughs> I wish I could say that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I've spent. I, I'm, I'm talking about Fortnite. I spent. I mean, I've spent ten bucks multiple times. But okay, I've, so I've never adding up, adding up, you mean yeah, it for, for one course. skin? Yeah, for one skin, <laughs> I've only spent maybe ten bucks. I've never spent more than twenty bucks. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've only spent Not ten at bucks once. per skin. <laughs> Not at once. I um, uh, Fortnite got me with the Star Wars mm-hmm. and all the Marvel stuff and the DC stuff. I'm not gonna not buy that. And see, I didn't even pay that out of pocket. I got the one Kylo Ren skin, and I had enough. Um, I got. V- it I had enough V Bucks to where that's the only I'm one. I'm not even going to front to you guys. I bought it all. You bought it probably was thirty dollars. Like he goes to the store, and you know how it says owned with a check mark. Everything oh, it's says owned. owned. It's owned. No, everything. I originally even the back bling that does nothing. I. How dare you, sir? I don't like it. 
Which I, one? I mean, the Jedi yeah. thing? Well, I mean, none I, of them do I anything. Mean, it, no, no, I, no, I, I'm saying it does nothing for me. Uh, like, it's, I mean, it, it's cool logo, but I'm like, eh. I like it. I don't know why. I yeah. don't know. Uh, but, um, where was I going with this? Oh, um, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever... So, the, the Fortnite's in an interesting position because I've gotten so much things. I'm like, I don't really need to buy another <laughs> skin. <laughs> Who has issues? We don't. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, I assume Fortnite wants to uh, fix their issues with people like me. Like, mm-hmm. I have enough skins. I don't need to buy another one. But to be fair, there's a lot of kids who just buy stuff. So I yeah. guess I guess I'm not the target audience they're trying to buy for, right? Yeah, I mean, I rem- <laughs> I remember every time I uh, <laughs> you would, you would see you would see kids walk in mm-hmm. into a store and be like, "Oh yeah, this is my money for my V bucks." Mm-hmm. Oh I have God. very similar situations. If you can read between the lines, you know what we're talking about. But uh, yeah, I, I've seen people <laughs> in stores go in and housing V bucks. I will never forget oh, it. My God. Very specific child I saw very specific chat hundred dollars um, easy he bought a hundred dollars worth of stuff he traded in it yeah, i saw him trade in a bunch of games and uh he uh, uh someone asked what he wanted and he said v bucks all oh, country is adorable kid was adorable easily spent mm-hmm. three four hundred dollars in yep. v bucks <laughs> i see hey, somebody man. get rid of a system for v bucks really yeah it's like an old system it's like a 360 things like that but i remember when they were co-oping like points and skins in the mm-hmm. uh, ps4 controllers people yeah. would buy the ps4 controller trade the controller right yeah, back that in. was interesting because you get what was it that life bo- the bomber was, guy yeah it was, it was 60 bucks but you would trade it in yeah and you trade it in i think it was for like yeah 20 mm-hmm. and then you paid 40 bucks for like the skin and some coins i'd be like i don't think that's worth it bro but hey live your life yeah, really dude. Like- <laughs> as soon as I saw somebody just like trade in stuff for that, I was like, "Why are you doing this?" Hey, man, the addiction is real sometimes. Yeah, it's not gambling though. Uh, what are the hardware? <laughs> Remember, we were talking about Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> I, we went through a whole rant of Fortnite and stuff. Just, it, okay, and Apex, and yeah, and Apex. Um, so That's I wanted a- to end this because this is something really cool that I don't think I've seen anywhere else. I could mm. be wrong. Um, so what are Valorant's PC hardware specs? According to a sheet provided to Polygon by Riot, Valorant will run at the lowest possible specs at 30 frames per second on an Intel Core i3 uh, uh, 370M CPU with an Intel HD 3000 integrated GPU. I know that sounds like a bunch of nonsense, um, but it's that's super old. I think uh, I could run that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. i3? Yes. i3, yeah, no, I'm saying like even that. That computer could run it. Probably. Yeah. Because they're... For reference, you can buy an i9 right now. That's like kind of top well, of no, the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is i3 and what was that part afterwards? The graphics card part? Um, uh, HD... Uh, with an Intel HD 3000 integrated GPU. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. That's so old, I don't know what, I what that it's referencing to. Okay. Um, but yeah, it can run really cool stuff. Uh, uh, really old stuff. And another thing to note, um, they did say they have a special ping system that will mm. always be under 150 ping which if you don't know ping is how fast I feel like action high. is um that's that's high if you're like running good rigs oh because I, thought, uh, I was about to say i thought they usually want your ping under like 60 oh yeah no okay. for sure okay. but like on an old rig you don't really have a choice oh yeah so like they guaranteed i think less than 150 100 something like that okay. i could be wrong yeah. i'm making kind of this stuff <laughs> but what mm-hmm. he said was uh, the the ping will always be under a certain amount uh, yeah. because they're doing like a special oh. thing with this. <laughs> Alex is messing things up with this coaster. But shout out to these coasters, by the way. This is Shadow of Mordor, right? Mm-hmm. These are, look at this. Look at the nice coasters. I still have the whole set. Yeah? Yeah. I remember how you got that, too. Yeah. Alex, mm-hmm. enough about Valorant, though. I want to go over to a little rumors and speculations mm, all right i like these a new star wars project was leaked we don't know much about this leaked project from a couple of standouts it's called project maver which leads to a prevailing theory that it is a star wars flight uh slash dog fight sim it is also confirmed via jason Schwartz's twitter saying that this game he alluded to in his canceled star wars piece that we covered last week is what he mentioned in that piece there was uh, two games in development if you don't remember the article he was talking about canceled uh, Star Wars games. 
And there were two games that he spoke about at the very end. They were working on two games in EA's catalog of games that they make. One Star Wars game was the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, and then second, more unusual game. And he did not reference what the game was. Mm-hmm. He did confirm on Twitter that this is the game he's talking the about. Unusual Project, one. Project Maverick was the unusual thing he knows about. Interesting. Um, that's all we know. We yeah. know that it's basically dogfight, flying sim thing. How do you feel about that one? Has potential, yeah. especially if it plays out like in my head. See, as long as they let me customize my ship. I feel like you can't make it without that, right? What do you mean? You can't make it without like. Oh, that's all. Yeah, like, of course. Customization yeah, because right? if they can't, if if all they do is literally, oh, A wing, X wing. That's because it. Because you already have to be better than Battlefront 2's dogfighting. Which exactly. I'm not saying is... I mean, and it was good. It was but good. I mean, it was fun. Now, if you're making a game that's specifically only that, you have to put customization for your ship. Mm-hmm. Very There's curious on how this will play. Or because if it's a dogfight sim, mm-hmm. I'm picturing online only. Yeah. With no campaign. Mm-hmm. So it's... Do you think it's free to play? If God, no. No? Really? I don't think it's I free think, to play. I think without story, it's free to play. I don't. Has Star Wars in the name? Mm -mm. There's no way they're gonna try to take a pass that offer and be like, "Mm -mm, no. All right, you're speaking some sense. I I I, I guess I can agree with that. I just feel like they go Star Wars free to play, and you can buy all your parts for your ship. The cheapest, the cheapest they'll go is forty. But there's no way. I think it would be a sixty dollar game. Yeah, you're probably. If they can do train sim for sixty dollars. I think that I think they do a Star Wars flight game. Well, I'm saying free, hey, it's free to play okay. in the same way Fortnite Star is. Star Wars like, pod racing one. I mean, that was just pod racing, right? What did they do with that one? Did were you able to do anything? No, it's just pod racing. Just pod racing. Yeah. How good? did I don't that think do? there was a story. I mean, that's old. That PS2. I don't know. At, at the time, how good did that go? I don't. I don't know. I don't have the the sales in front of me. It was popular. I know yeah. that. It did fairly well, I assume. So I bet you it was uh, still whatever the full price was, though. <laughs> I'm sure it was full price. So you make good points. Um, I am saying, I'm not saying they have to go free to play. I think mm-hmm. they will go the Fortnite model of gouging people with, the, you know, not gouging, but we you get the cool skins, you get yeah. things like that. I'm not. I I I I see. I feel like if you go sixty dollars, mm-hmm. you have to make a whole new story. You have to make this whole new set of things. You have to talk about if it's canon or not. Yeah. I feel like it's easier just to do this sort of sim with random. You could probably fight at battles, things like that. I don't, I, but I think it's akin to the original Battlefront games where there wasn't a story mode. You just kind of played the fights in the game, yeah. basically. Yeah, for the first one because the second one did eventually add a story. Right, the original ones though. Yeah, the yeah, Xbox yeah. original. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah, you. Yeah, those yeah. never had stories. Those were fun though too. Those were so fun. Yeah, so fun. Um, but what do you think? You seem to disagree with me. So you uh, think this is a full sixty dollar? Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a full flesh game. I don't know if they're if it's. How can I say this? Well, no, it's EA. So I mean, it is AAA, isn't it? Would that can be considered AAA? I can't remember. Well, it dep- AAA, they're a AAA publisher. Okay. So, for instance, just about everything they make is AAA. Mm-hmm. You could say they make indie games, for instance, of like Child of Light, which is technically Ubisoft. That's not right. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, no. Uh, I feel Unravel, like I think, it's well. for a specific audience. The dogfight sim? Like, yeah. Like the sim kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. Like, I like, think it has Star Wars in the name, so it's for everybody. Like, I mean... Like I, I feel like it'll look cool, mm-hmm. but if it's if they'll miss some points, like mm-hmm. I feel like I won't care. And I love Star Wars, but I just don't know. Like if there's some like points, like for example, on... like for example, like if they put so many ships in there, but you can't do anything, you can just select them. Mm-hmm. I'd rather mm-hmm. customize my ship to where I can change like the guns or mm-hmm. the way it jets or what, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. Like then maybe it'll interest me, but then if it's the same thing over and over again, online only, eh. I would be excited for a. Titanfall esque, stick with me here. Okay. Where um, you are flying around and it's a giant fight. Okay. Let's say there's 20 people versus 20 people, like 20 actual people. Mm-hmm. But in reality, there's about 100, uh, like 100 to 80 to like 60 round of things there to shoot okay. at. So computers you can find. Yeah, yeah AI I think. Just like so that. it sh- mirrors a giant So like the big fight. like the big world of Battlefront like the 64 player thing. I guess I'm just talking about Battlefront at that point, but yeah. yeah. Um but like not everyone's a real person, so you can kind of feel cool when you yeah, shoot yeah, someone yeah. down, yeah. things like that. Similar to how Fortnite does now where um 
when you play online, you're not always fighting a person. Yeah, they're like, there's some people that there's are like, yeah. That are just bots to make. Which I, I, I'm enjoy- I enjoyed that. I, I love yeah. it. The reason I love it, I was playing Fortnite before this update <clears> and it got to a point because it's just it's been around for so long people are so good at the game oh god yeah i can't play, do anything they just wreck you you know as soon as someone rolls up and they start doing a certain build you know, yeah all right well it's over yep <laughs> like you might as well just yep as soon as i look at them and there's already like a house oh man yeah man. like all right this is it this yep. is a, i don't I'll just room. hide see, yep. if make it, see how long it takes them for them yep. to find me but i feel like the inclusion of bots not only helps newer players yeah. get into the game it makes you feel better it makes you feel better yeah, with the highest kill count it makes you have more fun I, I, yeah look i know i'm killing bots do i care no yeah we i mean I'm we had a fun. match i i knocked like three or four people i'm like i'm not usually this good at this mm-hmm. game and i was like you oh feel, bots you, you feel dope but oh, yeah, i still yeah. feel fun and of course not all of them are bots sometimes yeah. they're real people sometimes they just wrote bad oh yeah people, when they start players. coming at you and then they'll shotgun and then switch to an smg real quick i'm like well that was not a bot <laughs> <laughs> let me put a ramp up yep um but yeah back to project maverick yeah i think it's I, I that's what I picture when I when I see the little picture they put up of like that red like image yeah, yeah, yeah Project yeah. Maverick yeah I think of this kind of online online esque thing but then we get in a weird spot of like I guess they're not competing for I, I was saying like competing f- for space because now they have Apex but they mm-hmm. don't want to take away from Apex but I feel like Ubisoft doesn't have to worry about that because they have yeah. a thousand online games going and they don't have that issue mm-hmm. so maybe they aren't worried about it but and it has star wars in the name so i feel like that carries i don't know this could go so many ways but i, I just, do uh, think it's going the way of this kind of dogfight sim only only online and if there is a mm. campaign it's very light i just feel like putting star wars in the name is called it's it's attracting too much attention I to th- where they're gonna be like oh you have to be good now because uh, you're using that i i do agree with that I, I i as soon as you put star wars on it you go okay we kind of have to make this good because our other ones have been bad so mm-hmm. we gotta kind of really make like, this yeah. one like right. so it has to be better than previous ones because yeah. if not then i'm like mm-hmm. at this was- point on that note, yeah, Call of Duty has added Tamagotchis. In one of the craziest, but albeit coolest collabs in recent memories, the newly added Tamagotchi that can be worn in-game. What? I can hear you ask? Yes. A Tamagotchi. You can wear a Tamagotchi watch while murdering people in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> okay. Warfare. If you haven't heard or have just tales from older siblings of their neglected, killed digital creatures, then I'll explain. Tamagotchis are digital creatures housed in a watch that you can bring around. Think Nintendo Dogs, or if you're me, the Mass Effect fish that you could feed and yes. make sure they don't die. Uh, Look, you can there's ha- a hamster, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a space hamster. Uh, you can hatch an animal, um, which is weird because some of them are like mammals they hatch, <laughs> yeah, they hatch anyway <laughs> yep. then you can take care of it by either showing it attention or feeding it there were several buttons you can hit this was an early 2000s mm-hmm. very very popular thing that people bought you took the, care of it like little eggs mm-hmm. yep yeah. and people loved it i had a pokemon one they did like a pokemon it did they really i think That's so cool. i think i think i had a pikachu one i had like a I had like a dinosaur on it <sighs> that sounds pretty cool yeah there's like a raptor or t-rex it's like a little tiny t-rex like you know the little That's t-rex cool. that you know when you when you have no internet and it has like the little t-rex video game yeah, it kind of looked like a t-rex like that that's pretty cool yeah um uh so in this way this is how the game translates it to in-game instead of feeding it as you would by hitting a button on the watch you feed it the blood of your enemies uh, oh, you get that uh, by getting right. kills kill streaks objective scores things like that they are available right now if you want to go pick it up in the in-game store. Um, is it free? Uh, no, you buy it. Oh, I do not God. know how much okay. it is. Um, I can find yeah, out. Yeah, find out how much it actually is. Uh, because uh, when I was uh, searching for details from their official tweet and mm-hmm. their blog post, um, I didn't. they did not specify price. And I did not think about it. Because they did. I did want to see if this was fr- like a free thing to get. Yeah, to that's what in. I wanted to see. And, I, and it said it's available in-game store. So it's like, okay, it costs money. I okay. assume ten dollars. I assume ten dollars. I'll check for you because it hasn't shown me yet. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. By the way, um, uh, I'll look for it. You can, like I said, it. Tamagotchis. I had a Pikachu one, I believe, and I had. I think I gave my sister this one, but it was like a. Was it a dog? There's some points there. Or something. I don't remember, but it was it was. I had a lot of fun with mine. I I think uh, I it's a thousand Call of Duty points. So it's ten bucks. I was right. Yeah. Okay. It's ten dollars. Same way as Apex. Right? Yeah. So ten bucks if you want to go snag that bad boy up. I am personally good, but I will. Um, yeah, if I'm I was good. playing Call of Duty, mm-hmm. 
you bet your ass I'd buy this. Because <laughs> it's cool because the, in the trailer, they're showing it off. Yeah. And they're shooting. Mm-hmm. And you look at him, he's like bouncing and dancing around. Interesting. Um, so if you, you can expect your watch in game. And when you do that, if he's depressed, that means you're not getting enough kills or kill streaks, and he's sad. Um, I, he's telling you to get better, <laughs> basically. And if you get kills, kill streaks, and the objective scoring and all that, he'll get happy. He'll start bouncing around, have fun with you, things like that. And you can check through with him throughout the game. It's really cool. See, now I want that for Apex because I've been playing Apex a lot more. So mm. now I want something like that. Now you want like a little Tamagotchi friend with you. Yeah. Apex is looking at it like, damn it, why didn't we think of that? Right. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. I, no, I is, do yeah. think it's a, um, honestly a good idea. I will probably never use this or go play it, but I yeah. thought it was cool enough to add. To you it. know one game I'm surprised they didn't do something similar to that? They didn't do anything, or at least I may be wrong, I haven't seen anything, in Overwatch, you know, the little onion-looking thing? I forget what it's called, but they ne- they always have plushes in the game and things like that. But they have nothing to incorporate that to be like, oh, it's it's your, it's a pet or like a tamagotchi or something. The Overwatch lore has always confused me because there's so much lore, but I haven't seen any of it actually implemented in it. Yeah, and maybe they plan to change that in the second. Like one. I don't even know what that thing is. It was like yeah. a, I thought it was a mascot, but apparently it has something to do with something. I don't know. I just, I just thought it was something in the world. In the I, game, didn't, yeah. I didn't think it was anything special, but I guess it is. Yeah. I never really thought about it. I remember seeing it and being like, oh, that's cool. And then I saw it in a store and I was like, what? Yeah. Why is it? It's people. Do people know this? Yeah. Like, I didn't think like, I don't even know. know I, just call, I just call it onion squid. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. okay. it has a top of onion yeah, and, no, and yeah. the green little legs look like gotcha. a squid. So. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate it. Yeah. I think I would call I it. I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. So I don't. Mm, onion squid. Mm. You figured out? Alex? Let me know. Fortnite is adding helicopters um finally. so we were talking a lot about fortnite earlier and did you just say finally yeah have you been waiting for helicopters in Dude, fortnite since the new chapter two started mm-hmm. i hate the boat okay i can agree i don't like the boat at all i mm-hmm. wish there was like even it, like even the cars that are just sitting around i feel like we can get into those but they don't want us to no, no. I, I was like give us something else give us the four wheelers give us something back give us the planes so helicopters finally do you know how many people just welled up about to cry when you said planes they're like don't bring that back you really you the don't fortnite like the- com- it, well, i don't say me okay the fortnite community <laughs> hated planes really so there's I enjoyed them. very specific. Well, first they were overpowered. Very, yeah, the very first time yeah, they, were yeah. they were pretty overpowered. Yeah, you yeah. could beam people. I remember that. I remember yeah, playing that's with a good them point. and destroying people yeah, with that. Thing. So. And then you could go through builds without taking damage. You know, just crazy. Stuff I feel like, like it, I feel like I can even out if I'm on a plane with somebody that can make a house in three seconds. I think I, I think we're pretty much matched. <laughs> okay, leave me alone. I get it. I get it. That reminds me of when they added the mechs. And they purposely made them overpowered. And I remember mm-hmm. the reasoning. They they wanted people to 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 help people get more wins. And yeah. they actually noticed people who weren't getting wins were getting wins with the mechs. And of course, oh. that makes sense because they would go for them. It's crazy because I, I used it like twice because it was just so slow. Oh, I didn't I, I didn't it, well, well, I didn't care for it. No. Well, I don't remember. Did you know if you played it when it was over? Because they nerfed it eventually. Oh, probably. I probably used it when it was when okay. it was nerfed. Yeah, then. originally, I I was playing a little bit back then. I, get, I kept getting shot out of it. And I was I, like, man, dude. When I got on that, oh my god, because the rockets were essentially sniper yeah. rifles. Oh yeah. Because you could just shoot it at a general area. It's mm. killing whoever's around there. That's eventually. Cool. Um, but that was cool. The helicopters, um, to go back to this, this was uh, long have been leaked in mm-hmm. several little data bank things that they do. But this comes specifically from Hypex's Twitter page. They found little placeholders inside of the software. So it is writable, of course. It is a helicopter. The HP has a uh, value of 1,500. Uh, it can boost and it can damage players if it hits them. So it's pretty much the plane. It's the plane without yeah. any guns. Okay, okay, so no guns. Just gotcha. for so it's just for travel. Yeah. It looks like. um, which is good. Yeah. They need more ways of traversing, I feel, Please. because when I was playing um, the newly released season with uh, Rebecca, mm-hmm. I, when I'm at the end of the storm, it's, it's just not fun running. Oh, there no. is no. I remember the. What were they called? Um, space station things. You know, when you would shoot out of it and shoot away. They had air vents that you could oh, shoot. Things like little, that. You, I, I call them like bunkers. Yeah. A little bunker thing. Yeah. The, those were nice. Yeah. But like without no means of traversal, I feel yeah. like it's not as fun because you yeah. can't get to the circle fast. Oh, no. Yeah. It was so hard because we were playing one match. 
I was at the Shark Island place, and then you were all the way at the cross the map. Yeah. I think it was like what Pleasant or something like that, all the way at the top. Yeah. And I was like so far, and the and the storm was closing, and so I used the boat through the water area, but that was only halfway, and then the rest of it was land. So I tried using the boat and boosting through the grass. I'm like, screw this. Mm-hmm. So I started, just started running. Mm-hmm. Which is the uh, boat not terrible on flat surface, but as soon as you hit a hill, it's over. You get oh off, yeah, get for off sure. It's dead. It's dead. Yep. Leave it to die. Moving on. This one is a little meaty. Bring but I wanted to talk. Meat. I wanted to talk about it because me and Alex are specifically excited about the game. Yes, even though I don't know m- too much about it, I just have always liked these type of worlds. Ghost of Tsushima mm-hmm. has a listing on PlayStation blog that came up around noon this morning that caught my eye. New details have emerged from the PlayStation blog about Ghost of Tsushima, including a release date, trailer, and the announcement of a new additions. Let's get where to the meet the release date. Is June twenty sixth. Now is it saying day before my birthday? Uh, now is it saying for this year? Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Indeed. Interesting. I'm surprised because I didn't In- think we were to get that till next Indeed. year. Indeed, I think because we, we only heard about this what last year. No, a year before that. Really? Okay. We wouldn't have heard it last year because where would they have shown it? They didn't go to. Oh E3 yeah, it is. It is a PlayStation. It was at thing. an E3. So yeah, you're it was right, you're two right. years ago. Damn, it's been that long already. Yep. Jesus. And uh, it went silent. Uh, and I didn't believe them, honestly, when they said this was a PS4 game. I was like, you guys are full of shit. But uh, no, it's a PS4 game. It's really on PS4. I, mm-hmm. I, I have to admit when I'm wrong. Yeah. I did think this was going to be a PS5 game, and they were just kind of messing with us. And I was like, this is not going to be on PS5. This does not look like a PS5 game. Mm. But here we are. This is going to be a PS4 game. Um, if you want to watch the trailers, you can, of course, go to the PlayStation blog and watch all the trailers. This was... Um, uh, the trailer goes over the new characters that you meet throughout your journey. There are two players they spotlight, and there's a new kind of highlight uh, story trailer that shows more about Jin, the main character. Um, with that, they announced additions you can expect. By pre-ordering, you do guarantee yourself a Jin avatar, a digital mini soundtrack featuring select songs from the game, and a Jin PS4 dynamic theme based on the box art. And if you are like Alex and I and prefer digital copies, you can now pre-order the digital copy of the game as well as... Um, as well as the digital deluxe, which comes with the Hero of Tsushima skin set, which provides an additional in-game horse, saddle, mask, mm. sword, and armor set for Jin. The digital also include two in-game items, the charm of Hatchman's favor and one technique point, as well as a samurai PS4 dynamic theme. If physical is more of your fancy, you fucking weirdo, then you can find solace in the regular <laughs> edition as well as the special and collectors. The special, which includes a sp- still bookcase. Voucher code for in-game hero of uh, Shushima Mask and Sword Skin. Everything above, basically. And then uh, uh, that's just a physical versions and also director's commentary and a mini art book. The Collectors, on the other hand, comes with a replica mask that Jin wears in-game, which looks tight. Tight, Alex. I yeah. don't know if you saw this, mm. um, but it's right there. And um, let me click on this and get right in here. There we go. So, cloth mm. mask. Uh, of the island of Tsushima, the still book, of course, mm-hmm. a session war banner, which is a super long war banner that I assume they would wear in war and plant a flag. Um, it's called a Sakai mask. It's a mask and a stand. It's not meant to be worn, but it is the mask he wears in game, and it looks dope. Feral hmm. Shaki wrapping cloth. Don't know what that. I think it's meant. I think that wraps like certain things in Japanese culture. I think bento boxes are wrapped in it too. I don't, okay. I don't know. You said the mask is not supposed to be worn. Yeah, it's not it's not meant to be worn as in you can't wear it because it's attached to the stand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of you meant in cult- in the culture you're not supposed to wear oh. it. So that's what I was trying to think. I was like, why? Mm, Is it? I, I assume they don't but care. I got, I got you. I got you. Um, 48-page mini art book by Dark Horse, which that sounds awesome mm-hmm. if it's by Dark Horse. Yeah. The Samurai PS4 dynamic theme. Hero Tsushima skin set, like we said, director's commentary, and the in-game items are for the horse and the one technique point and the charm. Let me guess. That is a meaty meaty bundle 250 no less two less one give you one more 150 guess. you were right right there 169 really right 169 that's not too that's bad that's not too bad. bad now that mask could be heart garbage and just plastic so i mean it's not like you can wear it anyway so it's just gonna be a stand right i'm tempted <laughs> take, <laughs> take the pole off i'm, I'm tempted yeah right like like hey that's how i felt with the mortal Kombat scorpion mask like, I wanted to take that thing off the thing and try to, like, put my head in it. Let me tell you one thing I was disappointed with was that mask. That thing looked terrible. Which one? The Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat one? Mortal Kombat one, really? yes. For 11? It was, yeah. like, 
plastic. Oh, like, I didn't, straight I didn't, up plastic. I've seen it, like, like, in a glass $200. casing, but I haven't seen it, like, to, to oh, no, feel I, and I stuff. I touched it all. I touched oh, yeah? all over it. You touched all over it? Yeah. All over it. And it was, like, 200 bucks, though. Come on. Relax, yeah, everybody. Point. It wasn't that cool. The thing was uh, Call of Duty, the 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 night vision goggles mm. those were awesome those are pretty cool yeah those look like, like those were I those mean, are I have, legit night vision goggles i know people who bought them they said those were really good actually yeah which i was like well, that's weird i, I assume they were yeah you would think it'd be more cool. expensive than that too oh for sure yeah for sure um you, uh this except you Alex? yeah no i'm excited for ghost of tsushima that uh, makes to clarify, it we did not watch the trailer um i'll be honest i don't want to i want to kind of experience the game yeah i, I mean it's we're only like what have, three so it's three months away yeah, I do apologize if if you wanted our insight in the game. My insight in the game, it looks awesome. Oh, Despite yeah, no, Sucker sure. Punch, they made Infamous. I yeah. love Infamous. In- I fully yeah. trust them with this. Um, if you want our full thoughts on the game, I'm sure there will be more coming mm-hmm. in the months. And it comes out in June, so it's not Yeah, three months from now. I, I, I can wait, and I'm so excited for it. Me too, Alex. Not too much there. But again, June 26th. If you want to pre-order, of course, you can go to the nearest retailer or Amazon. Um, if you want that collector's, again... Jump mm. on that if you want it. Because now this those ne- go quick. This next thing, I'm excited for this. Have you? Did you know prior? Um, not of this one particularly, mm-hmm. but of the rumor of the adaptation that was going to be beforehand. All right. Yeah. So, let's get into it then, Alex. Go for it. We are doing. Uh, not we. Sorry. Uh, we are talking about the Last of Us show that is being made currently. That was announced uh. today. Last of Us show is heading to HBO in a new series adaptation of. Um, to a TV show. Craig Manson, creator of Chernobyl, which is also an HBO show, will join HBO to develop the series. This also brings Neil Druckmann to be executive producer, and Carolyn Strauss will also executive produce alongside Evan Wells, the president of Naughty Dog. Oof. It will be the first TV series being made by the newly made PlayStation, PlayStation Productions. Productions. Um, in a follow-up that IGN posted a few hours later, I saw. Um, they said that their sources are saying this series does replace the movie That's the that was being I was made. Because I yes. knew they were going to make a movie. They were going to make a movie. This is meant to replace that with Now I'm TV more excited because I'd rather have a TV show. Because, you know, a movie, you get a bunch of good detail, but it's only like two hours. A show, yeah, we get a you get like, dive. say, good ten episodes, an ten hour each. Hours. That's ten <sighs> hours. Oof. Yes, babe. Now my thing is, where would this be? In story, will it be a prequel to where everything's being, where what's happening, or do we follow a character that we know, for example, Joel or Ellie or something in the future? So, of course, to preface with the audience, just in case you weren't, uh, you know, you don't know how these work, this will, of course, come out after the game. The game comes out May 29th, so mm-hmm. we're not getting this TV show probably for another year. No, yeah, at the at the earliest. earliest. Yeah, at the earliest. We won't see. We won't, yeah, we won't. Honestly, I don't feel like we'll There's, see a trailer seeing, until like a, maybe a year and a half. For sure. Yeah, we're not getting this anytime soon. No, so no, yeah, for sure. We will have more knowledge uh, when Last of Us Two Part Two come or Last of Us Part Two comes out mm-hmm. than we do right now. But I do want to speculate. Still, I one thing I want to clarify. I do not want a tv series of last of us part one i no. do not want that no because we went through that already i i we we know the story yeah loved it yeah i don't want that again no god don't no. what i do want to see alex mm. prequel mm-hmm. with ellie's mother interesting okay now we did get that trailer that i think is ellie's mother that i don't think we technically know right now mm-hmm. but i want to see what happened with her what was her life like yeah. what did she do what what was she before the um, uh, the clickers and all that happened? Mm-hmm. Like, what did she do? I want to see her life. Yeah, because sh- that trailer makes her look dope. She looks awesome. Yeah, I want I want her story. Yeah, I mean, what do you think and what do you want? I think it's gonna be the prequel thing. I want that, but I'm also in between because Last of Us between one and two is such a big jump. It is. I want to just know what happens. Mm-hmm. So you want right after uh, um, um, if the game doesn't do it because mm-hmm. because because if the game does it, then I think I'm good. But if the game does not do it, then I want something in that retrospect. All right, we're just gonna spoil Last of Us, kind of. I'm gonna go over the opening real quick. Last of Us been out for at least over ten years. I think we should be okay. We're getting close to ten years. I think it was twenty four. No, it was twenty. I can look it up. Well, Last of Us Part One. 2011, 2012, one of those. It had to come out before, because PS4 came out. 2013. 2013? 
2013. The game had to be way out way before that. I, I'm gonna say 2011, 2012. Really? Yeah. Do mm. it. Do it. Look it up now. What do you say? What do you say? 2010. 2010. Just just to see. I'll go 2011. It's the Last of Us. I think it's 2012. Now that I'm thinking about that. Release date. Watch it be right. Watch it not be right at all. 2008. Watch it be that. Oh my god. That is definitely not 2008. No. Let's That's see. Uncharted. Two. Three. Uncharted three. Yeah. No. Uncharted two. I don't remember. What the fuck? There's no way. <laughs> what does it say? Last of Us Part One release date December first, twenty sixteen. There's no way. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Oh, there's it's a short film. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wrong. Last of Us Wikipedia. There, I'll just go wiki. It should be the very first thing they say. <laughs> Literally, that was, that was Last of Us is a twenty thirteen. It was close. Yeah, video games developer. Not I didn't think really? it was launch year. Twenty thirteen. The launch year of PS four. They came, it, that came out. It came out um june of that year um during e3 i remember that oh uh, see i was close the development for last of us was 20, 2009 so when they don't start- act like you then <laughs> <laughs> i was close okay? you were close i guess i'll give it to you question mark no, i'll no, leave yeah. it to you no, at least it was 2013 i did think it was 2012 though but yeah that, i still would have been wrong that's crazy um that's, but that's what cool. i wanted to preface though i'm spoiling the beginning you had your chance the beginning, as you know, Alex, starts with um, Joel. younger Joel, I guess. He's not yeah. young. But yeah, it's a younger version. He's a kid. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I don't know, what is it called? The mushroom attack happens. <laughs> the, you know, everyone gets infected. I don't, I, I don't, is that have, does that have a name in the world there? What is it? Like, it's just them getting infected. Oh. Like, the day of infection. Like, is I, that a name? I know, I know, th- I know don't this know. cordyceps. I know, like the cordyceps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here, uh, the pl- uh, Southman. So they they're hostile humans and cannibalistic creatures affected by a mutated strain of the, the cordyceps, the cordyceps fungus. fungus. I know that. Yep. Uh, okay, I don't think I don't think there's a day they call it. So if you no, yeah, find, but I, I want to. Um, wh- how do you think Last of Us Part Two opens? How do I think two will open? Because one opens with Joel, mm-hmm. like experiencing his child's death in his hands a very Somewhat, yeah. intense scene yeah i so, mean i mean you they first match off you start they you start playing different? as the daughter first technically yes, you do. Yeah. yeah you do so i th- mm, i don't know i don't either mm. i think i think we start off where we saw where we pick up with ellie getting up she's like oh actually i think we're I gonna think start we at st- the party i think we start at the uh something with ellie's mom really and we see her die like a flashback yeah no yeah. no well yeah. uh, uh, no one's experiencing the flashback but yeah if you want to I, th- call oh, it a flashback. I, w- I would say it would revert back to before ellie met joel she was with the mother something happens they well, get the separated mother, well, the mother she dies. died during childbirth yeah so oh oh she was like okay al- alive long enough to write a letter okay i heard this on a podcast recently she was like alive like two hours like oh, two wow. hours with, with oh, the Jesus. Child goodness yeah yeah but then um we'll get that and then i'll flash forward to let's say maybe a, a gory scene with ellie <laughs> nice and then it'll, it'll, i think be, i think that brains. party thing that we saw a trailer of that at, at, that one e3 i think that's going to be toward toward from the beginning because i think right after i think right out after that it's just it's just straight like like where El- where Ellie? Yeah, where yeah. Ellie, we're experiencing the story. Yeah, we're taking revenge on whoever for whatever reason. Because I feel like it's just gonna start out nice, you know. Oh, she's happy, and then bam, it's just everything gets screwed I'm over. So curious on how this opens because it seems so easy to say the girlfriend dies. I that's so I, honestly that's where I'm going. It seems so easy to say, and I feel like Shirty I feel like Drunkman. I feel like Drunkman gave us a little fishing line. He's like, yeah, yeah. bite on it. Well, she dies. And the bite on Left Behind DLC, the the girl, was it a friend or was it a girlfriend? Left Behind? The the it DLC. Was, it was mo- it was a friend that turned into like a girlfriendy a thing. thing at I the forget end. what happened to her. She dies. She dies. Okay. Because they both get bit. Oh, yeah. Nothing happens immune. to Ellie. Yeah. She dies. Because she's not immune. I feel like they're going to go more into that too. Really? Her immunity thing. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, how, actually, how she ke- became immune. I would love an explanation of that. I feel like that's what they're going to go with, uh, how she became immune. I wonder if this... Because maybe it has to do something with the mother. Mm, maybe she did something when she was pregnant that, like, we can figure out, like, okay, well, if we do this, then... That or, immune. like, you know, how, I mean, 
how to uh, the mother died two hours after childbirth uh, well i don't know uh, the exact time well, i just like, know she died like, during, right childbirth. At, yeah, during childbirth i wonder if they did something around that time someone killed her i wonder yeah i wonder alex mm-hmm. the tv series mm-hmm. i wish was closer oh yeah but i'm done talking about that all right okay let's talk about game pass game pass man let's talk that, about game pass one thing about game pass you hear us talk about game pass at least once a week i'm sure the audience loves it <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're like shut the fuck up about game Pass." i mean um if but you hey, haven't tried it go try it go try it. it's only a dollar try your first month is a dollar um so i'm just going over the expected games coming out in the march time frame okay. it's a very good month yes march 5th we're starting march 5th nba 2k20 right off rip nba 2k20 that is uh as of recording today so as of um you're listening you can already go download it right now um same day train sim world 2020 Yay. march 11th we are getting ori and the will of the wisp Ooh. which is very exciting um alex are you planning mm. on playing that yes me too i want to try and get back to the first one yeah i never played it I did the thing where you play the first two hours and then you mm-hmm. just, it never Absolutely. happens. March 12th, Pikuniku. <laughs> Pikuniku. <laughs> okay, whatever. In case you missed it, March 13th to the 15th is Bleeding Edge Beta, so I guess it's coming back for both console and PC. Ah, yes, so you can was. play the weekend. Yep. March 13th, State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. Um, it's a free update. The re- This remaster is packed full of new updates. Spin-off of original content, access to all three add-on packs released to date, plus cross-platform multiplayer and more. Would you, would you go back that. to that? Stay at the K2? We played that for a good bit, and then, I mean, we stopped. The three add-on packs excite me, because mm-hmm. I'm like, that sounds cool. Some of the add-on packs for the first game were kind of fun, so yeah. one might go and try. Um, this is... That's it. That's it. Now, these are... Um, things leaving soon, so if you want to pick them up while you still have your 20% off while they're in Game Pass, please do it. The, uh, first game, Deus Ex Machina, man, uh, Mankind Above. Lichspear Double Spear Edition. Oh, Interesting. Shenmue, and Sh- uh, Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. Mm-hmm. And Thimbleweed Park. Now, a reminder that is leaving this month at some point. It does not say the exact time. But if you buy it while it's still in Game Pass, you still get 20% off, which is pretty, pretty good for savings, especially for the Shenmue 1 and 2, because I know people really like that game. But that is all we have for Game Pass. Very good month. Mm-hmm. Ori by itself gets me. Uh, Ori, and then I'll try out State of K2. I want to say I'll try out 2K20 because I do love trying out the sports games. Just mm. see, like, oh, let's see if this one gets me. And I never really does, but yeah. I like trying it. Alex, I have a question for you. What is your question? Coronavirus. Very serious illness right mm-hmm. now, right? Very yeah. scary. People are getting it all around the world. Yeah. Um, Mostly China, of course, is where it originated from, and we're starting to see it's cases kind of, in the U.S. Very yep. scary. Yep, uh, there was actually a case in Atlanta recently. That is true. If we yeah, do live in close. Georgia. It's very close. Very Apparently, close. someone in Florida has one too. So it's yeah. very, very scary. But very scary. let's not think about that and think about a silly gaming event for a second, okay? Yeah. So we know that um, lots of events were either canceled or delayed because mm. of the coronavirus scares. The main one is the GDC event was, they said delayed, it's most likely canceled for the year. But the GDC, if you don't know, is the Game Developers Conference. They go there, they have fun, game developers talk, chat, have a bunch of panels, show off a bunch of games, mostly indies, and they just talk and have fun. And that's usually where they make deals. Now, Mm -hmm. with that, we look at E3. E3 is in June. Mm -hmm. It is March right now. If this coronavirus thing isn't set up, E3 could be canceled. That's crazy. Alex, could E3 suffer a cancellation of this year and survive to the next year? I'm going to, before you answer that, jump to a, I guess we can call him an insider because he's not, he's not known anywhere as of right now. He is on uh, with Kind of Funny right now. Uh, this man is Imran Khan. He used to work at Game Informer. Um, so he's uh, retweeting this, and he says, uh, as I said on KFGD, which is a show uh, called Kind of Funny Games Daily, if E3 cancels, it will never come back to anything approximating its old self. If it doesn't cancel and all the publishers pull out anyway, it's dead as a consumer show. The only winning move for them is to hope and pray. And then this is a follow-up to elaborate. E3 was a dinosaur that wasn't serving partners, consumers, and press all at once anyway. They weren't going to last too much longer, even if nothing dramatic happened. 
It just sort of worked out that plenty of dramatic things happened, many of which are the ESA's fault. Mm-hmm. So, with all this knowing, does E3 happen this year? And if it does, will there be anyone there because of this coronavirus scare? Uh, and then if there is anyone there, are they there next year because of all these things happening? It's hard. It's a hard, it's a hard question. There's a lot happening. These are a lot of things. There are multi-layer things. I think E3 could live. No, yeah, for sure. ESA, which is the people who run E3. Who run charge of it, yeah. They're need not, to step away. Yeah. Because they basically yeah. killed E3 from inside, mm-hmm. from not pleasing consumers or developers. They kind of playing both balls. They can yeah. either play one ball or the other ball. GDC, for instance, is industry event. That's why it's accessible. They know what they are. They're industry. They don't sell to like a consumer, I don't believe. So mm-hmm. they're very focused on what they want. Let's, for instance... PAX. PAX is a consumer event. You can buy a pass to PAX and yep. you go and enjoy your time there. Mm-hmm. That's a very focused event. E3 is planning to play both sides and it's not really winning it either. Yeah. Also, they doxed all the people that used to, that went to E3 last year. So, plenty yeah. of people are mad at that too and they don't want to come back to it. Mm-hmm. Do, Alex, we get an E3? If this coronavirus thing is settled... Well, this is assuming it's settled. Yes, we will get one this year. Okay. It's just very hard to see if anybody's... Because we already know PlayStation is not going to be there. We know Xbox is there in quotes. Yeah, yeah Xbox they, they have is their not, own thing in that area. Yeah, Xbox is at the Microsoft Theater doing their conference in a... At the same time, maybe three. Yeah. They have a show floor this year too, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what they did last year. They yeah. used uh, they used one of those... One of those the the show floors as to demo show everything off something yeah yeah so I'm pretty sure that still stands yeah I think that's still gonna be the same mm. if it does not if it gets delayed mm-hmm. it's gonna be very hard to come back next year I don't think they get I don't think they will I um I think it I think E three is at that point where it's like if we don't happen we're screwed so they i feel like they're in that position where it's like it's happening i mean no it's, one comes I mean, no it's, one it's comes. crazy because a lot of people are not even coming to this one like jeff Keighley is not even part of it anymore that I is mean, like like the biggest deal that yeah. no one knows really because yeah he's very behind he's, the scenes he, work i mean he's, he does, he's one of the ho- he's pretty much the one hosts it basically it? yeah uh, he, he does e3 judges week which if you don't yeah. know that is and then game awards right yeah, well, that's at the end of the year. But yeah, 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 he does Game Awards. But E3 Judges Week is essentially, I think it's two weeks before actually E3. They actually bring in the people who are going to play the games. So all the people, influencers or yeah. journalists and all that. They bring them in before E3. Yep. Have them sign a bunch of NDAs that says, we will shank you if you tell anyone what you're about to see. <laughs> pretty much. And they show you everything. Not everything. They, they show, show you pretty, a they pretty much a lot majority of, of stuff that they're going to show off. And you get to actually play the game. Yep. You actually get to play them. You sit down. It's almost like um, uh, what's the game that like shutters images and you have to like guess what it is? Oh gosh! You know, better yet, what is the Viewmaster? You know the Viewmaster things. As oh a kid, yeah, you did yeah, that? the kid, you did the. It's essentially yeah. that, but for games, you just yeah. sit down and developers bring you games over and over again. Yeah, just keep going. It's like a Viewmaster. You just keep hitting slide, and if you like one, you try to remember that you liked it. Yep. And you play another twenty thousand games while you're there. Yep. Sounds fun to me. Sounds fun to me. He was the one that did that. Yeah. So if he's not there, I assume it's not happening, yeah. which makes C three and even less palpable for people. Uh, for journalists and influencers and things like that. I personally don't want to see E3 go away. I, I personally either. want I, to see I'm... ESA leave E3 and give it to someone else that can actually run this thing because it looks mm-hmm. like they have no idea what they're doing anymore. Yeah, because ES- ESA has been the only one who's done it, right? Yes. ESA stands yeah. for... They need a fresh start. Electronic Strategy or something like that. I don't remember. Electronic Strategy Association? Mm. Uh, I can look it up. I don't remember. I, I don't know why that came to my head immediately. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but look up ESA. There are two ESAs. So the first one will probably not be it. I think it's a Canadian thing or something like that. Um, so so it might not be the right one, the first one. So you might have to do a little thing, ESA, E3 or something like that. But I don't remember what they stand for. But I do know that they're suffering very much of a mismanagement issue. Mr. Aaron Ron Khan is in the industry. He knows what's going Entertainment on. Entertainment Software Association. Thank you so much. That makes way more sense than what I said. <laughs> um, 
What did we say? I said electronic strategy for some oh, reason. Oh, yeah. And weird. then you gave me association. I was like, it's for I, sure I association. association. Yeah. I was trying to remember if it was electronic. Yeah. Entertainment software. Thank you. Yep. They either they can't close. That's not the ESA runs ESRB, and if the ESRB goes, we're real screwed. So then the government's going to try and regulate our games. We don't want that. Trust me, you yeah. don't want that. Um, so ESA won't go. I just want ESA to basically give E three to to essentially Jeff Keighley, yeah, because he could run it better than they could. Yeah. Um, so I think it just needs better governing, and I don't. I feel like I believe PlayStation. When when they say they don't want to come because E3 is an event that does not pick who they want to service, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I believe them when they say that. So all they have to do to get PlayStation to come back is fix the issues they have with it. Mm -hmm. And that is assuming they're telling the truth. They could be 100% lying. Would it be crazy if I said they should take this year off? And then come back as a re- as not a rebrand, but like as a fresh start so next year. In a perfect world, no. In the world we live in, I don't think they have liquidity and money for that because mm. it's very expensive to rent out s- stadiums. Mm. Essentially, is what they're doing. So I don't think they could afford to do that. I assume if they do that, they immediately go bankrupt and it's there. It's over. Like the NSA doesn't exist anymore because they have to go bankrupt and they have no money because mm. you rent out that stadium. That mm. stadium has to make money. So everyone who comes is yeah. charged. Yeah. Certain people don't have to pay as much because they know, you know, they got inside. You know, Xbox, for instance, probably gets a sweet check. It's crazy because I feel like e, um, E3 should have been ran by the people that are showing off their games not just esa but for example like like microsoft sony nice, and playstation should all get together and they're the ones in charge of everything like cohesion sounds yeah. amazing oh yeah cohe- i mean and everybody they all work together yeah no i mean yeah, yeah awesome. it'll be like all right you guys got that side we got this side we got this side we were and work together like mafia I mean, yeah. Like a mafia, yeah. You drawing out your lines. You're like, I. Right, you don't come to this side. You know, Stanley, and and then Sony's like, but I want the East win. It's got my favorite <laughs> burger shop. And then Nintendo's like, we like Mario. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, but I wish it was that way. Like to where, like let's say, let's say if they do cancel E3 mm-hmm. and it's dead. Mm-hmm. I feel like Which one day. Suck. I feel like one day they'll pick it back up. Like the the main uh, the. Uh, is it Microsoft? Sony? What are the developers? Publishers? I can always forget. They're what both. They're, I mean, okay. Technically, the main people. They'll be like, "Hey, we need to bring this back." Hopefully, I wish one day that'll happen. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I think, I think what will happen. I think E three most likely gets postponed because mm-hmm. of the coronavirus thing. Because we're not we're not shaping up coronavirus in the next no, three God. months. Um, I think that is what's going to happen. And if it doesn't close. Whew, they have a PR attack just waiting to blow them apart because uh, um, I don't know if they have insurance for their payments, but if they can't cover that, then they're going to have to host the event because they're not going to choose getting and bankrupt no one's over going that. And, and, and if no one comes, then no, then no one comes, yeah, right? Come. Um, so that, that would be crazy. Yeah. Alex, mm. this episode has flown by. We were already at an hour. We have had great discussions. Mm-hmm. Alex, thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me, Alex, and taking your time throughout this day to speak with me. I try. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for listening. If you like us, remember we host every Friday on your favorite podcast service and YouTube. Give us all the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions. Um, reach us uh, Twitter at EVM9000 at Cravey Subscriber from Alex there. If you have a question, anything we gave throughout the show that you didn't like, come scream at us. I and dare you <laughs> I like being a, I, I like being antagonistic towards the audience I feel like they're gonna, they're, they're watching this and they're like yeah yeah and then you say and you say that they're like oh oh okay oh, okay it's like that all right it's like it's like do I do I hit it now <laughs> it's like you're talking to them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He's like, it's like all right I was yeah, I like to think they're like wolf I was with you and then you told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, thank you so much for uh, listening, taking time out, uh, throughout your day to give us the listen. If you want to support us, you can head over to patreon.com slash cgtvers. Good as a buck for the exclusive. Remember, this is our uh, our exclusive. This month will be the starter pack for um, Alex and Elijah. Uh, you, we will go over our top four things that 
basically you, Persona 5 you'll get to know us entertainment yeah thank you for listening thank you go achieve